Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? You bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? Ooh, Cole getting a lot of hate now. Hmm. The white shoe slaying. It's a rainy night. Oh. Interesting. Bus. Woman. The purse. Oh my god. There he is. Oh, I don't look closely. Maybe we can see his face. Oh, she's drunk. Okay. She's drunk. Now we know she's drunk. Oh, it's not going to show us. Okay. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just caused. Well, I say it's raining. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice Yay! De more death penalty shit. Seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Oh, now, you believe in reptilians, too? Business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. All right, thanks for telling me. Put him down Skipper, so is the new letter for. genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Whoa. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. How do you? Why are you calling them imbeciles? Maybe they all did it. Yeah. Fine morning, indeed. The girl can ask we keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Ah, California's love of bad Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up to San Quentin, there are always the killers in this town of San Uh huh. Oh my, rain! Yay! California. When's it gonna stop? Rusty? You answer that question? What are you doing, idiot? Stay in the car. You're stupid. All right, let's go. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on the record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows Ooh. make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes, I get going. Oh my god, stop. Don't cut yourself off just because I did something. Just keep going. Come on. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go until you fucking start talking again. Okay. You're gonna be a bitch like that. Let's see what you're gonna say. Oh, okay. Maybe that was the last thing I was gonna say, that's why. That guy there will lead us up. What, what guy? Oh. We get in the car. Why am I driving so slow? God damn it. That way for his fat ass. I'm stealing myself from what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body. They used to sing. They're the gig when they work on homicide. 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 We dealt with like murders almost every case so far. <laughs> Not just homicide, I think. Right? Well, there's a murder of a pig. Okay, whatever, I don't remember. 11.49 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Scene is secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door canvassing for witnesses. Why? Keep me informed. We'll do, Detective. Why? Why would they do that? This looks awfully familiar. Who I could see in the, the rain? The boys from the examiner took with them as well. It's too rainy. Nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have? But it so wasn't under the sun. It was under rain. Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around That's ten right. last night, and the rain washed most of it away. <gasps> How convenient. Like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Damn. Strangled with a length of rope. 
And for my money, it's triple great again. Time of well, how much you want to bet? Maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. 2 a.m., that's not an amount. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message Ooh. with this one. At least mutilate. he was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. But he doesn't like and moistness. No or other personal effects. Interesting. He's suddenly getting... So he was getting a lot more... He was giving us a lot more, and I was giving us a lot less. Huh. By the way, you can, like, hear the fa- oh. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Ooh. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Interesting. Superior Laundry. That doesn't sound like it's full of shit at all. Can't draw the good ones, though. Really? What's so good about this one? <laughs> Was it the same guy, probably? I love how we're talking about it as if it's the same guy now, even though we don't know. I mean, basically between me and him, we're, like, talking about that, even though it's not the official thing. Alright. Oh, is that it? Okay. What's this here? Let's go this first. No, 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 don't look at that idiot. Footprints. Clearly, no drag marks. He has feet the killer still. Was moving around, surveying the scene. Why? 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 I call. Why? Why? Damn it! Why? What's this? Money. Take it. Take a smarter man than me to connect that. You know how you connect it? You take it. Freaking stupid. What are you doing? Oh my god. His feet turned into tires. Are most likely one and the same. Oh my god. The killer's a car. He's a transformer. Oh my god. Guys, I figured it out. He's a transformer, everyone. He's a transformer. I figured it out. Goddamn captain's make me read some it's Transformer, guys. I figured it out. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta tell. I gotta tell my wife this. Hold on. Oh. Hmm, what's going on here? What is going on here? I don't agree with Detective. this. Get out of here. I've been working the houses across the street and up Shut up, Hugo. Whatever your name is. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Cool. How is it how is it like over there? Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. What about him? Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt. Horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any so is he scary or is he angry? Fight. Yeah, pick one or the other. The hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow oh. him around. Damn. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. It's an oxymoron if I ever saw one. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Well, this is, this is L.A. I don't know what the hell you're expecting. Alright, anyway, I try to call my wife. I figured out who it is. Honey, it's a transformer. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Oh, it's you. I need God an damn. Address on services. Just a moment. Call. Whatever. I, I know, I know, I know. They make assumptions. I get it. One, two. Get it. I'm pretty sure I figured it out, but whatever. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. No, right now. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple. Damn, and you're Temple. fast. Thanks. All right. Let's go. 
I don't know. We have two different places to go, don't we? Whoa. Is this writing? I'm gonna assume no. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna assume that's just random shit. Alright. So let's go here first, I guess. Do, 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 do. Oh. No message. Excuse me. Watch when you're driving, you maniac. Shut up. You know I do good. Excuse me. There was no message. Where? On the vic. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy that you say, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can just end... Yeah, okay. Yeah, just make a logical fallacy and then fucking end it. Just say that, oh, the... Just say, like, oh, the argument's over. And it'll just be over. I forgot that you're the arbiter of that. I forgot that you're the arbiter of arguments, shithead. Aww, why? It was so nice. He's just so cloudy. All right, let's talk to you. Wait, who we're talking to? What are we doing? Phelps and Galloway, oh. LAPD. Yeah. Of course, he's Asian. Case, God damn one it! One laundry labels came up. F one three six three. If you give me a minute, I go find a register and you can take a look. <laughs> well, it's almost perfect Asian. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? I got work to do. Go away now. All right. Let's see. Uh. Sorry. What? What? What was? Th what address? Something? What? Fremont? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, what are we looking for? <laughs> this? No? Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm kind of confused. What did Rusty say? Uh oh. Miller. Okay, green silk dress. That seems about right. Mrs. T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. Interesting. Alrighty. Let's go. Hmm. And actually, uh... Oh. Where should we go first? Hmm. Hobo camp or 43 or the stupid house. Hmm. Let's go to the house first. Get the fuck out of here. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah. And it's usually correct. No, please, it's not. <laughs> please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type show a particular disposition for this. Oh. Nordic. Are you Norwegian or Scandinavian? That means something like that, right? <laughs> oh, good. All right, I think that's going to do it for me for now. So, uh, but yeah, stay tuned for more. I know I certainly what will. What are we waiting for? Shut up, Rusty. We're waiting for next time. It's not happening now. Freaking idiot. Anyway. But yeah, stay tuned for more. I know I certainly will. I love the cloudiness. Oh. But yeah, until next time, stay tuned.
Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to some more L.A. Noir. Oh yeah. Cloudy day, let's go. Hashtag cloudy days. <laughs> Alright, let's not do that. <gasps> hello? Hello. Yes? Yeah, Detective hi. Detective and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? You wanna rape her? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Aw, oh, shit. Can okay, you next door. Your wife and what she was wearing. We were out of <laughs> I really want to know. Bobby Ross's for a party. She was kind of dolled up. Dolled up. She had How her so? green silk dress. What do you mean by that? Open-toed white shoes. She's like a doll. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, mm. Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, she's dead. Do you have someone who can look after now. your children, <laughs> Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. Hey. Sorry, kids. We're just trying to rape your mommy. Night. That's all. Her body was found this morning. Oh. I'm very sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> Look how stoic the kids are. They go. But we are going to need you to answer some questions. Like, First daddy, what, what he about. just said. What for? You don't think it's that procedure. You see to your girl. It's okay. It looks like they're the most emotionless blobs I've ever seen. So whatever. Fuck off. Get out of here, you stupid kids. God damn it. Oh, now you express emotion. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I just go to the next Stay room to where there's a clear open door bait. Right, Did you not just hear it? We would like mommy to come home now, daddy. I don't think that's problem, how kids talk. Girl. And also, also, did they not just hear or are they retarded? Fuck them. They're stupid. <laughs> you want to hear something funny, Terrell? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. Well, I'm not talking to you yet. Get in my way, Rusty. I'm investigating first. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't want to look at that, actually. I need to check if she was a regular. Okay. It's just like that Bomba Club case. All these, like, turned over the photos. Turned yeah, they, they, we seem to be getting those a lot. These, like, broken families. That seems to be the serial killer's pattern here, is like, broken families. Oh shit. Okay, I guess we don't even want to sh even look at that purse. All right. I mean, look inside it. Whatever. Ooh, teddy bear. Oh, new testament. You put a new testament right in their fucking. Mm. Wow. Don't think this is any use to us. No wonder they're so fucked up and stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Templetons. Now, let's see here. Oh. What does this mean? Okay. Nothing. I was always going to zoom in at the photos. That might be something a little bit more useful. Oh. A recurring theme here. I see. Baron's, Baron's bar. bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this guy. Well, you apparently assume it's the wife, so... Why do you... You'd excuse me, ladies. I'm pretty sure... They're not ladies, and also they don't fucking mind because they're stupid children. So yeah. Not sure this means much. All right, I don't care then. Now oh, I want to check the dishes, huh? Let's see what's in there. Hmm. <gasps> Is that blood? Oh my god! I solved the case. I'm out of here. Oh. Oh, but I'm I'm gonna look inside this purse. Okay. What about what about the other handbag? As you call it. What about that one? You don't want to look at that one. Idiot. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Huh. That's quite a bit interesting. She left her whole license. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Maybe she didn't need it, Cole. Who knows? Hmm. Ah, no, that's bullshit. Of course she would need her lipstick. God damn it. Clearly she forgot it. Oh, boots. Oh my. I've been out recently. We can see if Pinker can yes. match the impression of the crime scene. Oh, oh wait, wait, the shirt, shirt. <gasps> 
Lars was out in the rain last night. Was he? What if that was just today? That could have just been today. How do you know it was last night? Is there anything out here, or am I just being stupid now? I feel like I'm probably just being stupid, but let's see. Oh, no, maybe not. Match with the ligature marks. Interesting. Thank you, Rusty, even though you didn't actually help me. I was just going out here anyway. Through my own intuition. Fucking idiot. I'm trying to take the credit there. You're just there staring at the thing, like not knowing what to do, and then I, I came in there, I was like, oh, it's this. And he's like, ah. Oh. I'll yeah, be out I of the way that. momentarily, ladies. <sighs> Stop being like that, okay? You're already out. Who cares? They're stupid anyway. Okay. I see. Okay. Thank you for not being a fat ass completely. All right, check your phone, dude. Good luck at your phone. Operator, message for KGPL. Oh, you're gonna give him a message now? Okay. Putting you through now. Put me through. Put me through. Yeah. 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 Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. Badge twelve forty-seven. How can I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby oh. Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Hmm. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks. Wait, who's Bobby Ross? What was he talking about now? Is this something from last session I forgot? <laughs> All right, dude, we're going to talk. For the record, Mr. Charlson, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Okay. Uh, well, at least we know you know that much. You're a total liar yet. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. <laughs> there can't be anyone who knew her. Well, wait, maybe he was being serious about that. It seemed like he was kind of full of shit, though. Uh... None of these would indicate that anyone hates her. <laughs> Let's just do lie anyway. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then <laughs> dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Why do you all, Why do you always have this rhetoric of like, prove it? Prove it. <laughs> That's like one of the first things you say is like, oh yeah, prove it. You're off the hook. Now. It's like you're kind of giving me suspicions when you do that. I'm just saying. Like, doesn't mean you did it, but you know. <laughs> uh, why? Well, he seemed kind of dowdy at first when he was saying that, but then he was pretty stoic. But the stoicness was kind of throwing me off. But then again, I guess he's sad. Um. Uh. Ah, I knew it. No, I don't. God damn it! Why would you lie about that? Ah, uh, I should have went with my gut there, my original gut. <laughs> my next gut was kind of telling me truth, but. Uh, fuck. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Okay, I'm going to doubt. I'm going to totally doubt that so if it's I not a lie. So when I call this Bobby Ross character and he tells me you're lying. Look, what do I have to do to convince you that I stayed at the party? Um... I mean, your stuff got wet, but I don't think that counts, right? Like I made a mistake. I hope this better not fuck me over. Okay, doubt. 
Yeah. You let your good. drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. Aha. She Culprit. goes there, Figured drinks out. too much, gets maudlin and calls me. I go and bring her home. All right. What was her state of mind? Even Mr. though she left, so how do we Teresa know? Was Teresa happy at home? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think she was. <laughs> okay, I believe you. I believe you. I, dude, you, you do not know how much I believe I you. I think right you're now. in an unhappy marriage, Lars. I think you're lying, and you would like to get it off your chest. You telling me my wife was unhappy? What proof do you have of that? <laughs> oh my God, really, dude? What the hell? Uh, what proof do you have? What proof do you have? Come on, prove Sorry. it. Prove it. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. I won't prove it. I'll just get Spill out of here this way. Geraldson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. <laughs> intimidation. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go off dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave Damn. the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Wow, that's pretty early. Alright. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. Uh... Let me just do that again. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. I did look to the side for a second. I don't know if that's indicative of something, but... I'm just being a little bit too stoic uh, about this for my liking, but... You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? I don't know how I figure that. When did it start raining? At night? I mean, is 8.30? Would I don't know. I don't fucking... <laughs> does, does the wet jacket or the muddy boots say anything about... I really don't know. I know... <sighs> I remember this was a piece of evidence for something. These two were pieces of evidence for something. For like a question at one point. I don't know if it was this, but... I don't quite see the connection too well. For it don't to be ask, that. you never find out. Oh, wow, this is actually kind of a tough one. I hate that I failed one before. I wish I just fucking stuck to my guns there. Uh, remove an answer. Do I want to do that? Oh, God. I could be stuck in this forever if I don't. <laughs> I don't trust whatever I'm gonna say. He kind of seems truthful, but like I don't know. Do I want to take a risk and say he's telling the truth again? I don't. So the care game at Bobby's was wrapping up, but it wasn't wrapping up at 8.30. If it was, then why wouldn't he just leave with his wife like she did? <sighs> Let's see... This is weird to me. Oh, God. I feel like it's not doubt. It could be lie or truth. It could be lie... or truth fuck okay hold on let me look at this again time of death uh laundry tire tracks uh uh did, did it whose name did it list oh i listed hers yeah uh I don't know, 
Nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Did it start raining already? I don't... Shit. You were out in the rain. Okay. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. <laughs> this cute little brunette was hitting on me. Oh, of course. <laughs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. Oh, now we get I the walked story. From Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charlton. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to Braj, you'll be giving in to them your entire life. Hmm. Sounds like the but then you get angry at them for killing them, so it's like... Bar. We should check her place out. Even though you say that you would do the same thing, Appreciate so you're time, a hypocrite. Sir. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. Oh, really? Were you in a similar situation, Cole? Hmm. Huh? 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 Alright, what the fuck? <laughs> 